Well, Kevin Mitnick is chief executive of Mitnick Security. He's an American cybersecurity specialist and was jailed as a hacker in the 90s before turning his hand at catching them. He's in Brisbane, Australia, and joins us now. Thank you very much for talking to us, Kevin. In the mid-90s, you were the world's most wanted hacker. Now you're a security consultant. What's your assessment of this breach of U.S. government agencies? Quite serious. I mean, what we have here is we have a supply chain attack. So a very popular product that the Fortune 500, U.S. government agencies like the White House, Department of Justice, the Pentagon, I mean, it's widespread, the number of customers that use the SolarWinds Orion product. And what the threat actors did in this case is they were able to modify the update. So a lot of these updates are applied automatically and the threat actors were able to get the signing keys to crypt cryptographically sign the update so it would be accepted. And once this update was installed, it installed malware that gave the threat actors complete access to that organization's internal network. And then they're able to install other backdoors, move laterally, steal information, gain access to email, pretty much do anything they want on the network. And this is super sophisticated because they had really good operation security. For example, if they were going to connect to a victim's network, they would do it from IP addresses in the same city. So it looked like a normal employee accessing the network. So very clever. It, it speaks to a nation state. And I don't know what nation state it is. I think that's still trying. Yeah, I'm still there. I, I still think they're investigating whether it's Russia, could be Iran, could be China. Uh, I guess time will tell and we'll find out. So again, very sophisticated, excellent tradecraft, and we should all be concerned about this attack because imagine an attacker, a, a nation state, breaks into Microsoft. Well, they, they, they could do the same type of attack, another supply chain attack, and actually backdoor Microsoft products or any type of products in the supply chain. So it's extremely difficult for companies to detect. Well, thank you for explaining that. That really does put it into perspective. The U.S. officials, uh, some U.S. officials have said that this attack um, was probably from Russia. Russia has denied it. But just how um, possible is it to accurately pinpoint the origin of an attack like this? Would it take a long time to do that? Attribution is very difficult. What, they'll, what security experts will do is they'll analyze the back door, any of the code they could gather in their forensics examination, and look for signs of similar techniques. Now, of course, a, a nation state, for example, like China, could uh, simulate the tradecraft of Russia, and it could, you know, it could make it. They could make it look like it was Russia. So it's very difficult for you know, It's very difficult to attribute these attacks to particular nation states. That's usually done by intelligence agencies that have other sources of uh, sources and methods. Uh, of other information that they consider in the analysis. All right, Kevin Mitnick, we'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much for your time today. All right, thank you, Nancy.